Hola, and welcome or welcome back to Kim at Home. The couch needs cleaned off, so it's going to be vacuumed today. It's also going to have a gypsy couch clean. Let me show you the infamous crumbs over here on the couch. Do you see them? Do you see them? Y'all see them crumbs. The other thing that I do plan to do in the kitchen, my refrigerator definitely needs cleaned out. I'm going to take out the plastic liners and also the drawers because they're pretty gross. If you are new here, my name is Kim, K-Y-M. I love to do videos pertaining to home life, so I do repairs, DIYs, projects, cooking, cleaning, all of that great stuff. If that sounds like your jam and something that you're interested in, please do not forget to hit subscribe on your way out and also show that like button some love as well. You'll have to let me know below in the comments how often you change out the filters on your vacuum. I have been changing mine out a lot lately. I'm not really sure why, but I live in a dust bucket. Everything in this house is super, super dusty. Uh, which is why I do the gypsy couch clean because you know that dust just falls over and kind of circulates through the air. Is this over? Is this over? Can this be over now? Is this over? Is this over? Is this over? Can this be over now? Baby, I surrender. I can take it anymore. I don't want to remember, just want to let it all go, waiting for a new day, when I will feel no pain, you will have to let me go, so I can be myself again, we should know that we won't be any better now, can't you see that we are drifting apart, I am through trying to hold us together, Want it to stop, want it to stop, no. I'll be doing the Gypsy Couch Clean with the Yellow Mr. Clean Disinfectant. If you don't use that, oh my gosh, you definitely should try it. It makes everything so fresh, so clean, and it just smells amazing. One thing that I've realized about cleaning this couch is it has a lot of different ridges so you definitely want to get in between those ridges, those gaps, those lines, whatever it is that you want to call them if you have that on your own furniture and you try this method of cleaning. Now I know it's hard to tell through the camera, but when you're face to face with the couch, how it looked before versus how it looks after it's clean is a major difference. Just wait until you see the water. Now, for those of you who don't think the gypsy couch clean works, look at this, look at this. Now, before I get my carpets clean, I definitely wanna vacuum them. I'm going to vacuum them twice. I wanna make sure I get up all the dirt and debris because I don't want anything like that being caught into the carpet cleaner. I'm also gonna give you a tip on how you can tell whether or not your carpets need cleaned. It's 
just a Allow me to learn you something on this day about vacuum lines. Okay, so the higher your vacuum lines are on the ground, the cleaner the area. The lower they are, the dirtier the area. Thank me later. Rolling straight out of retirement. Boom! Here she go, and she gets the job done. Although I don't have a pet, I do use this because it was free and it came with the actual carpet cleaner. I also use a, just a drop of the yellow Mr. Clean and dis disinfectant, a drop of vinegar. This right here is our show stopper. If you've never used this, you better get with it, okay? The EcoSense Tough and Tender will get out a spot that was there from 1952, y'all. That stuff is amazing. What's the worst case scenario? Plan out in your head how it's all gonna go. So you think you got it covered. But there's always something new that you discover you've not thought about. You can never figure out every possible outcome. And you're so scared you'll get it wrong. Have a good time, but a worry after. Petrify will they think I'm awkward when your brain's wired for disaster. Even good things leave a bitter taste. Try to calm down, thoughts spinning faster. Terrified, hide it with laughter when your brain's wired for disaster. Even good things leave a bitter taste. Even good things leave a bitter taste, yeah. Even good things leave a bitter taste, yeah. Even good things leave a bitter taste, yeah. Even good things leave a bitter taste. One thing to remember or think about when you're cleaning your carpet is where are the high problem spots? Those are typically before your furniture, like walking up to your furniture, in front of your furniture is what the word I was looking for, and also in and out of the doorway. So coming from our kitchen to our living room, I had to go over that spot like 12 times. I'm not exaggerating. It was terrible, but it was worth it in the end because now it looks really good. Even good things leave a bitter taste Try to calm down, thoughts spinning faster Terrified, hide it with laughter When your brain's wired for disaster Even good things leave a bitter taste Even good things leave a bitter taste, yeah Even good things leave a bitter taste, yeah Even good things leave a bitter taste, yeah Even good things leave a bitter taste Even good things leave a bitter taste, yeah even good things leave a bit of taste, yeah. Even good things leave a bit of taste, yeah. Even good things leave a bit of taste. Worry won't change the outcome, but I've been doing this for so long. My brain keeps signaling danger, although I know that I'll be just fine. Worry won't change the outcome, but I've been doing this for so long. My brain keeps signaling danger, although I know that I'll just fine Even good things leave a bit of taste, yeah Even good things leave a bit of taste, yeah Even good things leave a bit of taste, yeah Even good things leave a bit of taste let me know how you're doing below in the comments. Let me know what you're watching, what you're working on. I'm reading that book, The Senator's Wife by Liv Constantine. It is so good. I'm on chapter seven, I think. Oh my gosh, y'all. It's really hard to put down. I had a coworker tell me that there was a show she wanted me to watch. She thought that I would really like it's on Netflix and it's called Killing Eve. I don't know when it came out before, but it has Sandra Oh in it. Y'all, that show is good. It's crazy, okay? It has like twists and turns that are crazy and comical and I'm, I'm digging it. That looks real pretty, doesn't it? Off to the refrigerator I go, and I will be cleaning this out with the yellow Mr. Clean disinfectant as well. The drawers were pretty dirty, so I wanted to wash those out, and I washed them out with the Method dishwashing liquid. Keep thinking, was I wasting my time? 
Before you actually put this drawer back, you definitely want to dry it off thoroughly. You don't need any kind of mold or mildew growing in your refrigerator because that's just not sanitary and we don't want anyone to get sick, right? Another thing that I would recommend is not using the same sponge that I'm using to clean anything else off. I definitely want to throw it away after I use it from cleaning off the refrigerator. There's just something about sponges that kind of gross me out. The bacteria that grows on them is pretty quick, so I just don't want to wipe anything else off with it. I'm taking out the liners in the refrigerator to get them cleaned off. I'm gonna wash them off as well and dry them very good too, just because again, I don't want any kind of mold or mildew growing in my refrigerator. You will have to let me know below in the comments if you use liners in your refrigerator. If you don't, I strongly suggest it because it definitely keeps it cleaner. And all you have to do with the liners is just simply take it out, wipe it up and keep it moving. Whereas with your refrigerator, I feel like it tends to just get like crust build up at the bottom of it when things drip and it's just harder to clean, much more harder than a liner. All you ever do is say how far you wanna go Baby, I can tell it's just for sure Every line designed to let me know This is a clean in between. So anytime you're about to go grocery shopping, it's a good idea to just try to clean it up first and then go from there. So I do this at least once a month. I don't take the drawers out once a month because I always like wipe it down if there's a spillage or anything like that, but I definitely do make sure that everything is clean. I will not be doing the condiments. I will not be doing the condiments today because I don't have that to do. I'm almost out of gas, I'm so tired. One thing that I can honestly say I feel like people always forget is the outside of the refrigerator. Have you ever walked into your home and looked at your refrigerator like, wow, there are like a thousand fingerprints on that refrigerator. So this is your friendly reminder, girl, go hook it up, okay? Some of us have some serious OCD issues, which is a mental health ailment, okay? When I see fingerprints, I see germs in my head. It's just the anxiety, that's just how the anxiety works. But I will tell you this, I'm not ashamed of it. I will talk about it until the cows come home. And if you're dealing with that, it's okay. You're not alone. And just learn how to work your way through those types of situations. Another area that's often forgotten is the inside of the stove. That can get really dirty, especially if you don't have a liner at the bottom. Look at all the dirt and debris that this caught. This is my oven cover for the bottom of the oven. Other than where I just sprayed, as you can see, the bottom is clean. It's all because of this. So definitely get you one if you don't already have one. I ordered these off of Amazon.
would like to present to you my oven. She looked like new money. These are some of the ingredients I'll be using for my deviled egg. These were boiled this morning while I was working out, so it's been quite some time now and they're ready. Word to the wise, always have a little trash bag near you. Thank you so much for taking out the time to be here with me today. I really appreciate it. If you are loving the music, leave some music notes below in the comments. Do you rinse your eggs off after you peel them or is it just a Kim thing? I just try to make sure that I get all of the shell casings off. When I was younger, I remember my mom had this white egg beater with green print on it, and it was the bomb. I should try to find one. I don't know if they sell them anymore, but maybe I should Google it. But the reason I'm saying that is because even though it didn't look like it took that long to beat the yolks up, it really did. And uh, yeah, my hand was hurting just a little bit. <laughs> mustard or no mustard in your deviled eggs? Leave a comment down below. Deviled eggs is kind of like potato salad. When you go to a cookout, you, we need to know who made the potato salad, who made the deviled eggs, who made the yams. <laughs> It's several hours later, so I want to get everything put back away in my living room and get back to normal life. I want to sit in here and watch TV because your girl, like I said earlier, I'm out of gas. I'm tired. Okay. Exhausted. Done. <laughs> Thank you again for being here. I appreciate you so much. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoyed the content. I love making these types of videos. That is exactly why I do YouTube. Obviously, I'm a smaller YouTuber, so, you know, eventually I will get to a place where Maybe I can quit my job. I'm speaking that into my life right now, okay? I'm gonna quit my job and do YouTube full time. <laughs> also hit the like button. That way YouTube will, you know, trigger some sort of algorithm to let everybody know that my channel is something that is enjoyable to watch. Until next time, party people.